welcome back to another video guys currently we're stood outside stanley park as you may or may not already know um, it's located within a mile inland of blackpool's bustling seafront stanley park covers 140 acres of the largest multi-use park in northwest england the park offers a plenty of activities facilities and fa for families and children this includes a bmx track skate park bowling greens children play park pitch and put boating lake and a tennis court Stanley Park was designed by a landscape architect, Thomas Moulton, opened in 1916. The park is named after Frederick Stanley, the 16th Earl of Derby and MP for Blackpool in the late 19th century. So we've just made our way up the drive here in Blackpool, as you've probably just seen from the time lapses. So currently stood behind the um so just behind the cafe just there we'll carry on walking down is the boating lake here in stanley park so currently stood outside the boating lake here in stanley park the park's 22 acre boating lake is situated just east to the italian gardens at the center of the lake is an island linked by a shore by two ornamental bridges it's important for the habitat of uh, the number of waterfowls such as the millard ducks the canadian geese and the mute swans the coots and the gray heroines out from the boat stage on the western side of the lake which is just over there motor boats rowing boats pedal boats and bumper uh, boats are available the area of woodland around the lake is home to a variety of birds um, and that's more or less it about the um, about the boat lake So as you've just seen from the previous video I've just done about Stanley Park's boating lake I just wanted to bring your attention actually to the cafe I didn't actually mention much information about it um, So the Stanley Park Historic Art Decor Cafe actually opened in 1937 And still remains of its original features and situated in the centre of the park Close to any public car park and visitor centre The cafe is fully licensed and offers a good selection of drinks Including wine and beer and hot and cold beverages um, as well as food uh, this could be breakfast sandwiches salad toasted sandwiches jack and potatoes and outdoor seating areas providing excellent views of the beautiful italian gardens which we'll get on to so welcome to the italian garden here in stanley park the circular italian garden is the centerpiece of the park at the centre is a large lily pond with a fountain statue of the seahorse. The surround is built from stone column and timber beams. At the pair of the century lions um, statues stand north of the entrance of the Italian gardens. If Danny would like to just pan the camera around, just behind him there, behind you. Really, that's it. Not done These statues was donated to the park in 1926 by Bolton Brewing Company, um, Maggie Marshall and Co. So you currently find me outside of the bandstand here in Stanley Park. It lies on the southern side of the lake and was built in 1829. Um, it can accommodate 3,000 spectators as Danny will pan the camera around just to show you. As you can see there, the bandstand has an active events programme that includes performances from the live brass bands, rock and pop groups and opera and more. Come with me and we will go and show you the Rose Garden here in Stanley Park. Before we get onto the Rose Gardens here in Blackpool, uh, the Stanley Park, I just wanted to tell you a little bit of information about the, uh, the park's golf course. So the golf course is an 18 hole, 6,048 yard course, just northern end of Stanley Park, which we'll get onto. It opened in 1825 and was designed by the famous golf course architect, Dr. Alistair McKenzie. Um, the course is a, a, play, a pay and play facility with a relaxed dress code. Facilities at the clubhouse include a bar and restaurant. Stanley Park also offers a pitch and put golf course. See just behind me here, there's, uh, Stanley Park has a BMX track. Uh, as Danny will pan the camera around just to show you. The BMX track was built uh, for a national competition standards open in 2011. 
just behind me there, as Danny's just pointing the camera, is an 85 foot Portland stone clock uh, tower, which stands in the path of the running south from the Italian gardens. The, the, um, the clock tower was built in 1927, named after the town's first mayor, Dr. William Cocker. Come and follow me as we go to the Blackpool Sports Centre, which is just across the road over there. The Blackpool Sports Centre, as Danny will pan the camera around us now. So this is Blackpool Sports Centre, it's the town's sports and leisure centre. The facilities here include a gym, fitness studio, all weather pitches, football, hockey, uh, the list goes on and on. It's got a sports arena with a running track, an indoor climbing wall and a uh, bouldering room and a netball court. If Danny would just like to show you all that. Unfortunately guys I can't get access to the indoor climbing wall or the bouldering room. Um, but next time I'm in Stanley Park I can sure enough get it for you. Uh, Stanley Park play area. The children's park area is located to the southern end of the park and it's just an ice cream kiosk near to the entrance. So Danny will just show you. Over there. Just over there in the, uh, in the distance is the ice cream uh, kiosk. Unfortunately guys, I cannot find the Rose Gardens here in Blackpool, but the, the, the former site of the Sunken Gardens set around two lily ponds and it's located next to the main entrance, which I'm presuming is over there. Um, also as well, um, bit of information I'd like to say about the Blackpool Cricket Club. Blackpool Cricket Club is based uh, at a 5,000 capacity cricket ground. Tennis courts, 16 tennis courts, 8 grass, 8 hard. And the garden for remembrance, this peaceful garden honours the fire, uh, fire of soldiers who lost their lives during World War One and World War Two. And that's located between the Italian, Italian gardens and the clock tower. Rounds up at Stanley Park here in Blackpool. Now the location for the Stanley Park, it's located to the east end of the town centre. Uh, this is next, next to uh, Blackpool, Victoria. It's well signposted. The numerous entrances to the Park. The main entrance is the junction of West Park Drive and North Park Drive, which is currently where we are right now. This is the only entrance that's offering vehicle access, as you can see behind me. To find the main entrance, you will need a sat nav. Most cars have them. The postcode is FY39HU. And if the car park is full, which it is currently, um, it should be noted there is free car parking on many of the nearby streets. Cafe just on the right on the on the left. <laughs> yeah, left. Danny there trying to trick me into thinking, you know, it's because I'm facing the other way. So it's kind of my my right, but 